I am Sushil. I welcome you to my first video lecture on the topic noun. Noun is one of the parts of speech and it is very important in English language and grammar, in speaking, writing, reading and even in teaching. I will explain this topic in very simple and easy language. So, let us begin this topic. Now, definition. What is a noun? Noun is a name of a person, a place, an animal, or a thing is called noun. Can you name some of the person's name? Ranjan, Ravi, Anuranjan, Ramesh. Good. Can you name some of the places name? Sindega, Raurkela, Ranchi. Good. Can you name some of the animals name? Tiger, Lion. Okay. Can you name some of the things name? Table, chair, chalk, dustbin. Okay, that means you have understood what is a noun. Now we shall see what are the kinds of noun. First, common noun. What is a common noun? It is a name given in common to any person, place, animal or a thing is called common noun. Look at the examples. Boy. Okay. Here Ram, Raju and Ranjan. What is common among them? Boy. Because all are boys. Girl. Sita, Gita, and Amisha. What is common among them? Girl. Because all are girls. State. Okay. Can you name some of the states name? Jharkhand, Odisha, Bihar, West Bengal. So what is common among them? State. So state is a common name. City. Can you name some of the city's name? Ranchi, Kolkata, Mumbai, Delhi, Chennai. So what is common among them? City. Because all are cities. So these are common nouns. Second, proper noun. What is a proper noun? Proper noun is name of some particular person, place, animal or a thing. It's called proper noun. And remember proper noun is always written in capital letters. Asho, Suman, Sindhya, Ushafai, Parkarpen. If I say fine, it is common noun. But if I say Usha fine, it becomes a proper noun because it is a name, a particular name given to a fine. Therefore, it is a proper name. If I say only pen, then it is a common noun. But if I say parkar pen, it is a proper noun because it is a name given to a particular pen, that is parkar pen. So, these are proper nouns. Third, collective noun. What is a collective noun? Collective noun is group of person, place, animal or a thing. It's called collective noun. It is a group or a collection of something, some people, things. So it is a collective noun. Team. What is a team? 
टीम इज ग्रुप ऑफ प्लेयर्स आर्मी आर्मी इज ग्रुप ऑफ सोल्जर्स सो देर आर मेनी सोल्जर्स क्लास इन वन क्लास देर आर मेनी स्टूडेंट्स क्राउड क्राउड इज ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल और पर्सन हर्ड हर्ड इज ग्रुप ऑफ एनिमल्स तो देर आर मेनी एनिमल्स फैमिली फैमिली इज ए ग्रुप ऑफ मेंबर्स मेनी मेंबर्स मेक वन फैमिली सो दीज वर्ड्स आर कलेक्टिव नाउट फोर्थ मटेरियल नाउ वट इज अ मटेरियल नाउ material noun is name of a material so you can name many materials there are many materials which are some are made naturally and some are human made you can name many materials like gold silver glass wood stone even air water etc these are materials nouns Fifth, abstract noun. What is abstract noun? Abstract noun, it does not exist as a material. So, which does not exist as a material, we cannot see, cannot touch, we cannot smell. Like wisdom, bravery, hatred, love, sleep. Suppose I say, "Show me wisdom." You cannot show me wisdom because you have not seen. You cannot see. So these are abstract nouns. Six countable noun. What is countable? It is very simple and easy. Which you can count: one, two, three, four, five, etc., etc. So. Examples: book, pen, apple, chair, bench, chalk, etc., etc. You can say, I have five books, I have two pens, I have three apples, we have ten chairs, etc. So you can count. So which you can count is countable noun. Next, seventh one, uncountable noun. Uncountable is also very simple. It is opposite of countable. That is uncountable. So which you cannot count, like milk, oil, gold, mud, etc. If I ask you, how many milk did you drink? You cannot tell. Or if I give you a glass of milk and tell you to count, you cannot count. because it is uncountable if i ask you how many oil did i apply on my body you cannot tell because oil is uncountable you cannot count so these are uncountable nouns so we have seen noun the definition and the kinds of noun in one sort I hope you have understood. Thank you.